So morning year eight, today we are looking at alcohol. So we have raided our Corona cupboard um, and brought in our isolation um, help uh, from home, mainly from the technicians. Miss, can you stop drinking that wine? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that, everyone. There's just no control going on here. So what we're going to do today, we're going to have a look at the different strengths and how we know the strengths of alcohol. You've watched the PowerPoint, so we should know about units now and percentages of the strength of alcohol. So we have some wine, some beer, champagne, some gin. We have some... Not beer. sure what that is, to be honest. That's beer. Fake beer. We have vodka, red wine... Uh, Prosecco and Hell's Lager. So that's for people that are really desperate at home. So what I want you to do is pause the video and see if you can put these in order from the strongest to the weakest alcohol based on what you know on percentages and units. So you should have now got these in some kind of order. So the way to tell the percentage strength of these is look at our spirits first of all. So vodka and gin, for example, are spirits. On here, you can see it says 37.5% alcohol. That means there is 37% or just over of alcohol in this, and the rest is water and other things. Our gin, our pink gin, very nice, is going to be the same. So they are going to be our strongest alcohols. Our wine is normally going to come next. However, even wines differ. So this one is 11%. Which one's that, miss? 14% uh, in the red wine. That's a strong one. And then we've got our champagne, which is 11.5. So our Prosecco is going to be our weakest. What was the one that you've drunk, miss? Um, I don't know what you mean, miss. This is 12%. Nice. Full bottle there, I think you'll find. <laughs> and then we're on to our beers. This one is actually 4.9%. So this is quite a weak alcohol. This one is actually great because it also tells you what the units are. So it's actually got 1.6 units um, of alcohol. So for example, if you were driving, you would not be able to drink that. That would take you over the limits. So in fact, you'd only, if you were driving a car, be able to have half of one of those. So maybe mix half with a lemonade or just not drink. This one here is 4.5%, so they're the same. What about yours, miss? This one is a stronger one. This is 5.2%, so that is the strongest one of the beers. So this one there. here although it's just one bottle, it's still going to be about two units of alcohol. And remember, you are only allowed 14 unit, units of alcohol per day, whether you are a man or woman. So how many did you get right? 14 units per day, miss. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's just while we're in isolation. So in normal circumstances, it is 14 units per week. Um, Thanks, everyone. Would that be the oh. same, miss? <laughs> For, um, between anybody. Could yes. anyone drink the same amount yeah. of units per week as anybody else? So the same for the government now is men and women are allowed exactly the same. It used to be different, but now it's exactly the same. You know, technically, if we took into account people's BMI, height, height age, those kinds of things, there would be a different effect of these kind of alcohols on people. Um, however, the government current legislation is 14 units, whether male or female, which is quite interesting, don't you think, Miss? I do think that, Miss. Thanks very much for explaining. Thanks, Year 8.